we are back so I recorded a video I recorded a clue opening video as you can see but because my the hard drive in my laptop had to be replaced all the default settings were restored and basically I don't have audio in that clip which is bad simply because you know what is a clue opening without audio I don't know anyone that has the attention span to watch a clue opening without audio. Uh, you know, because they start to run together unless you are suspenseful that the person gets something, you know, like the title. And you're like, oh, is it this one? Is it this one? You know, that can, that can sort of be fun. But, you know, clue opening without audio, what is that? It's nothing. So... We get some good some goodies in this, what is it, looks like 160-ish clues with a small amount of elites and masters. Just whatever I had in my bag, I did. <clears throat> and I'm just sort of gonna, just going to talk over uh, this clip. So I start telling a story about a, some guy that was doing a giveaway in World 3, so it's a free-to-play world. Um, I'm studying for a grad school test. I'm studying for the MCAT right now, and I don't really have a whole lot of time to play RuneScape. So I've been free to play for a long time, you know. And so I've got an hour in the afternoons where I can hop on and sort of chat with some friends. Um, they might jump to free to play to hang out for a little bit, but you know, I'm done. I'm max. So what else is there to do, right? Um, I also am not a fan of dungeoneering, so. All I do when I go to free play is just hang out in World 3 GE. So I log in one afternoon, and there's this big group, you know. You can sort of look on the mini-map and see what's going on. There's this big group of guys that are running around, and they're following this one guy who's dropping cash, sort of like you're seeing on screen right now. This guy was running back and forth. Oh, I get a random message in the middle. Um, this guy was running back and forth, um, and he was just dropping stacks of cash somewhere around the 20 mil or something like that. I don't even know how he got around withdrawing money. How, how did he have separate stacks of 20 mil? I really don't know. Or is he just, is there a setting somewhere? I don't know. But he was dropping 20 mil stacks. Um, and then occasionally he would stop and he would say, trade me. And he would sect, accept a random trade. Um, the majority of the time that person is spam trading, which means that when he accepts... Um, that person clicks trade and then it declines the trade and so he picks someone else which is sort of ingenious way to never give away money is have 50 people spam trade you um, but so yeah he was doing that sort of giveaway thing and then he got to the end and he said alright I'm gotta go so I'm gonna drop 300 mil um, so he dropped three. he was doing sort of like you saw on the screen there just moving around real weird and any one of those corners could have been where he dropped the mill, or on the way to one of those corners. So we dropped 300 mil. So he did that, and I had my area loot hotkey ready. And so I just spammed area loot, and I snagged it, got that 300 mil. And he said, You know what? Like, I'm really quitting the game, so I'm just going to go and give everything. We're going to do one more drop. So he went and got 847 mil, and he did the same thing. He ran around real fast, and he dropped it. And I was able to area loot that thing as well. So I got over a bill for free in less than 20 minutes. And what I did was I sold my, my red Santa hats and Christmas tree hats, and I bought this black Santa hat that you can see right now. So I popped a bond, went and bought the hat, finished archaeology, got my max cape back, refitted it with a black and white color, you know, just because, you know, once you max and the rest of the game starts to bore you, you might as well do Fashionscape, right? So, yeah, that's a whole new aspect of the game, and it's actually pretty fun trying to see what style fits you. But, yeah, that's it. So, I had a bond, and uh, it's about to run up in a couple days or something like that, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip. Oh, did I skip too far? What was it? Uh, I'm going to skip right here. So we're about to get a drop. 
Um, no need to see the rest of that, honestly, just because that. Oh. <laughs> Perfect timing. All right, so we're about to get a drop on this reroll, and I want you to guess. Uh, my title is going to be ambiguous, so I'm not going to say exactly what I got, but I want you to guess. All right, it can be like you know, it's only like four or five things that you could guess from a hard casket. All right, one, two, three. Bears die. <laughs> yeah, so we snag a bears die. We get that beautiful. That beautiful chat message that says, X completed a treasure trail and received a Barrow's die. Honestly, that message will release more dopamine than, than any ejaculation in your entire life. <laughs> Isn't it true, though? Like, uh, I swear to God, you give me, like, at Ambassador or something, you give me a good drop, that shit will make me calm. <laughs> Not really. Uh, I hope there aren't any girls in here. So, we get that Barrow's die. You know, it's pretty cool. It's like 150, so... Oh, we also got a piece of Gilded. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I don't really go for collection logs, obviously, because I don't do enough or have enough time to complete collection, collection logs, but uh, it's still pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Um, I'm going to skip. So... I'm just going to skip right here. I think that's enough time. Um, and we can run through the rest of these in chat or something like that. So we get something else. All right. We get one more thing. Just, I want you to have in your head where it comes. Uh, is it an elite casket? Is it a master casket? What is it exactly? Um, obviously, because. I am super excited. It's not a regular drop, right? It's got to be something big. So what could it be? There's only like three big drops, right? You know what they are in your head right now. One of them starts with an I, the other with a B, the third with a T. And uh, we get one of those. So yeah, guess. Fucking guess. Uh, is that, it's weird. I'm looking at two things. Since this is a record this is like a screen recording of a recording. I don't know what came up in the previous recording or what's coming up right now. But uh, that's my Reddit chemistry notification coming in hot. Because I'm a fucking nerd. But um <clears throat> Yeah. Let's see. I always go quiet on elites just because they're so weird. Oh yeah, I talk about I talked about how weird the uh, the god pages were when they dropped. So I finally figured it out. I actually figured it out in the video. It took me so long. I don't know why I didn't connect the dots sooner. Supply didn't really go up. So people do clues. The people did do clues more because the luck of the dwarves was used in the relic and it shot up about twice so or every fortunate component was worth about twice as much um, so that was one reason supply went up the other thing is is nobody was PVMing everybody was doing archaeology or money makers for archaeology you know harvesting mats stuff like that so yeah just that complete shift in supply and demand and it manifested so um, you know it was so easy to see its manifestation because they were moving counter to each other. You know, you, it wasn't gradual, it was immediate. God paid it dropped. And I don't know whether they're going to rise up. Obviously, they, they will rise up some just because as people go back to PVM, the supply will increase and there's no way to get around that. It's not like a rare item where, you know, you don't really need it for pe for the rest of the game or anything like that. All right, so I stopped the video because... We're coming up on it, all right? So you have it in your head, what I get? All right, let's see. <laughs> I don't know why it takes so long opening clues. There it is. <laughs> Look at that. Peyton23 completed a... Oh, it's gone. Treasure trail and received a blood dye. I go speechless in the original obviously it's been quite a while and i know what i get but 
I go absolutely speechless because I never in a million years thought I would get a, a blood dye or anything above max cash, you know, one of the max cash dyes. Um, I thought I might get an ice dye eventually, but those are like, what, 900, 940, 50 mil now? Something like that? It is literally insane. So, yeah. What did I do with it? I sold it. I sold it for 2.8 bill um, to a mercer because they will probably turn around and sell it to someone who will actually use the die for like, they'll sell it for like maybe 2.9, 2.95, maybe three, I don't know, but some, but it was worth 100 mil for me to not have to find that guy who's going to use it, you know, I'm not, I'm not deep into forums, I follow a rare forum, but just to check up on it every now and then, I don't really know how to navigate that shit, and it's worth 100 mil for, to me to not have to try and learn how to navigate it so yeah i sold it to a mercher for 2.8 um didn't want to use it just because you know i'm not i'm not rolling in it like that i feel like people who use dyes just have that money to blow right um obviously i'm rich i mean i turned rich the first time i made my first billion and that was at that shadow die way back in the day so you know there's that but yeah i think what i'm gonna do with all this this new windfall is buy three Christmas tree scythes um, yeah I'm gonna buy three Christmas tree scythes and on top of my BSH and my bond will run out and I will retreat quietly and um, let's see well if I get into grad school my time will immediately be gone Although I'm going to have, if even if I get into grad school, I'm going to have quite a few months where I don't have school because acceptance starts or classes start would start in August. So let's see, if I get into grad school, that decision will come in December. I don't know. Well, I guess I will be playing a little bit more. But if I don't get accepted, then I will have to get a job, take a gap year, work on my CV, everything. Damn. Got deep. If you're not if you're not done with college, uh go watch some YouTube videos on what your future what your desired career will entail, the application process for your desired career and start working on that that stuff right now, honestly. Just a little life tip. More information will never hurt you. All right. Well, that's it. We get a bear's die and a blood die. I mean, I say that's it, but that's, you know, pretty freaking insane in and of itself. On top of the rest of these amazing drops, uh, I think I disassembled all my fortunates and made two alchemical onyxes, put one on a relic, and sold the other. So, yeah, we came out with some big monies from this one. Um, I'm over the moon. I uh, am super happy that I was able to experience getting a big drop. Obviously, the money is something, but the experience is priceless. Being able to get a big drop on your own, that is priceless. Knowing that you, you did the caskets and you waited and you finally got that big drop, I got to say, that's just something I'll have for the rest of my life. All right. Peace.